Hey guys, um, welcome to another episode of Techstone Productions. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to EQ uh, ukulele for uh, the vocals that I'm working on right now. Um, this could be applied to string instruments in general. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get started here. We're, so in the last tutorial I showed you how to do the vocals to make it more lively, to make it seem like it fits into the mix. So we're going to hear it. I'm the boy in your other phone, lighting up inside your drawer at home. So the vocals is there. Now the ukulele needs some work to be done. So we're going to start off by um, selecting it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do a normal compression here because what you realize is it is a bit harsh because there are parts that are suddenly real loud. Especially when uh, the string itself is being played. So we're going to select the whole thing. We're going to go to a uh, single band compressor again. I want to compress it. And last time I showed you what compression is, and by the way, you, sh you should really check out that video. It goes more in details of all the other effects that we're going to be adding, and it also applies to some instruments too. So we're going to go ahead and apply a compression of negative 10. So again, anything above, anything louder than negative 10 decibels will get compressed a little bit. We're just trying to smooth it out because a lot of the is a lot of the sound from the instrument is actually coming from the quieter sound. So I'm going to apply that. You should find everything up. That's actually, I'm actually going to do a little bit more. My bad over there. I'm actually going to compress it. Um, let's go with negative 15. Sorry, I didn't see. Um, so you realize that a lot of the uh, details and sound is actually coming here. All this is just the sound from the uh, from the string. So I'm going to press apply. And there you go. It's a little bit softer, a little bit more pleasant to uh, listen to. I'm going to save it here. Now let's go back to our uh, mix. I'm the boy in your So now I'm going to go ahead and do an EQ. Now EQing an instrument is very different from uh, EQing a um, vocal. So the first thing that we're going to do is, uh, again, I'm going to start with a clean slate, is I want to, um, you could take out the low frequencies. It depends on... Um, because this instrument in particular is more towards the mid and the highs. You can take out the low frequencies if you have other instruments such as drums and things like that. I'm going to leave it in there because I don't have another instrument. So it gives a little bit more detail in the low end, even though there's not that much to work with. What I really want to remove is um, I want to have a low pass filter to let me remove those higher frequencies so that the vocals can really help make it stand out. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to adjust this to around there. I'm going to make it a little bit of a sharp cut of 48 decibels. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and boost the... Um, the, um, the higher frequencies over here before the uh, before the cut and now I'm gonna cut out the middle frequencies especially the harsh tones around 2 kilohertz so something like that and uh, you kinda want a nice smooth graph so you kinda just play around with it see what you can try and do there's a plane outside why is there always interruptions when I'm making uh, videos? <laughs> uh, and then, now this is pretty much your guide to EQing all the uh, all your all your uh, ukulele instruments. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna make this very nice and smooth. 
and I'll explain what settings that I recommend you changing for different situations. So if I go ahead and play this back right now. Turn off the effect. It really makes the instrument pop out. Now, if you're doing a solo for an instrumental, you probably don't want to remove this much high frequencies. The reason why I've done here, the, um, <laughs> the reason why I've done that is to really bring out the, um, I'll make this a little softer, to, to really bring out the vocals because that's where the vocals really shine is in the high frequencies. And uh, I got rid of all the mid frequencies because those are some of the harshers, harsh, harsh sounding uh, part of the vocals. So I'm going to actually try to see if I can reduce the, um, the drop of this here. So you want, this is the general shape that you want around two, two, two kilohertz is when you make your uh, cut. To maybe a little bit further back, but this is this is a good uh, rule of thumb when you're EQing. Um, and then the boost is um, boost is up to around the 400 ranges, and this is going to give you a very very nice tone. So let's listen to that. So that's before. I mean that's after. Um, turn it off. So if you're doing a solo for the instrument, then you you shouldn't you probably shouldn't remove the low frequencies, the high frequencies. You should have that brightness there. The reason, again, the reason why I've done it here. So this is also based on application, although it's a little bit easier to do than. Uh, it's a little bit easier to do than uh, regular uh, vocals. That's a really, really uh, nice cut. That's without. Without kind of has a um, unnecessary tone to it. With and then with the vocals. If you give me just one night, you're gonna see me in a new light. Yeah, if you give me just one night. Really, really brings the um, the instrument and the vocals very nicely. Uh, put it into the mix. The, the other effects that we're going to do is uh, Studio Reverb, as always. Uh, I'm going to use um, the text on single preset. You can play around with the settings. I find this to be good. Um, for instruments, anything below 10%, I will go with 5. Let's listen to that. And again, it just adds that virtual room as I like to call it uh, a virtual uh, room to the um, to the sound so this is with and this is without I'm gonna turn it back on
So, yeah, that's basically about it. Now I'm going to do one more effect, and that is adding the beautiful harmony into the mix. I'm the boy in your other phone, lighting up inside your drawer. So obviously that's way too loud. Um, we're gonna decrease it. At home all alone, pushing forty in the friend zone. We talking then you. I'm just gonna copy the EQ from here, and the DSR. I'm not gonna do any reverb on here because I find that if you do reverb on the harmony, it kind of gets distracting and it distracts from the main vocal lead, which is what the main song is about. Walk away every day. Oh, but you don't think twice about me and maybe you're right to doubt me but but if you give me just one night you're gonna see me in a new light yeah if you give me just one actually before we adjust the volume of the harmony i kind of want to give you guys an idea of how to know if your vocal is too loud or too quiet so here's what you're gonna do you're gonna turn down the volume of your uh computer If I can even reach there, one second. <laughs> My bad for hitting the microphone. We're gonna turn it down to a very low percentage, like 10%. And we're gonna listen to this. I'm the boy in your other phone. Lighting up inside your drawer at home, all alone. Pushing 40 in the Sounds like the vocals zone. is a bit quiet. We talking, then you walk away every day. Oh, but you don't think twice. Okay. So a basic rule of thumb is if you lower the volume and you increase the volume and it sounds good on both cases, then you have it, you have the volume nicely. Now, if you have a solo instrument like I do here, a uh, basic rule of thumb for that would be just to make the vocal slightly louder than the instrument. This one night to meet you underneath the moonlight. Oh, I want to take two. I want to break through. I want to know the real thing about you So I can see you in a new light Alright, we're gonna just gonna listen to this whole thing and um, hear how it sounds I'm the boy in your other phone Lighting up inside your drawer at home all alone Pushing 40 in the friend zone We talking then you walk away every day Oh you don't think twice about me and maybe you're right to doubt me but but if you give me just one night you're gonna see me in a new light yeah if you give me just one night just one Actually made the instrument too loud. It's actually clipping. So I'm gonna make it two here. So that's something you want to avoid. I might want to uh, normalize that, but that's about it. So it's a lot of uh, experimentation with the volume to get it right. 40 in the friend zone. And um, 
other than that, the EQ, the Esther Studio Reverb, and all those effects has really added in a lot. So let me see what the instrument sounds like without effect, just to give you an idea. We talk and then you walk away every day. Oh, but you don't think. All right, now I'm turning on. Twice about me, and maybe you're right to doubt me, but but if you give me just one night. See me in a new light. Yeah, if you give me just one night to meet you on the all right, and that's about it. So that's how you kind of mix everything together. And be sure once again to check out the link in the description. Um, to, if you want to hear how um, the final mix of this sounds like. Um, this was a bit longer than I expected, but I hope this helped you. And um, if it did, please subscribe and please uh, share this video and things like that. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.